Hello, people of the Halifax. Sweet, sweet human beings. Hello. Oh, it's beautiful to be here in this dream, this iron thing <laughs> of dreams. Uh, I'm Sean Cullen. I hope you enjoy yourself, sir. Uh, I, I, we just had a baby recently, uh, my wife and I. Very exciting. People always ask you one thing when you had a baby. They always ask you one thing. How much does it weigh? What's the weight of the child? How much does it weigh? No, no, why? Why do you only want to know that about the baby? You know? I mean, is it, oh, if it's a heavy baby, I'm not lifting that baby. <laughs> if something happens to you and I'm forced to carry that child, forget it. Anything over seven pounds, it's on its own. All right, maybe I'll put it on a towel and I'll drag it around like that. But I am not lifting it. The baby's heavy. There's so many other things you want to know about the baby. Like, no one ever asks, uh, what's the uh, density of the child? <laughs> what's the density of the child at sea level, hmm? <laughs> what, what's his volume? What's the volume of the child? How much is he displacing? <laughs> and that's something I would like to know, you know, because, uh, I mean, if you're invited to a scientist's house and he, he has a bunch of graduated cylinders and he wants to dip the baby in one of them, you want to know how far you can dip before you ruin the carpet. There's fluid everywhere. What's important? Our baby uh, displaces 3.2 cubic liters. And we're very <laughs> pleased. Very pleased. But, uh, but uh, for the purists in the world, uh, yes, uh, he was uh, exactly eight pounds when he was born. A uh, lovely, lovely eight pound baby. But uh, strangely, nine and a half feet long. A long, very narrow baby. It's like a long noodle with eyes on the end. <laughs> Creepy. It was a very easy birth. She just kind of backed down a corridor like that and it <laughs> fell out. And they, they had to find a very long, thin blanket to wrap him in. But when you have a baby, the other thing that they don't tell you, in the old days, you just get a baby and you'd go home and you'd deal with it as best you could. No one gave you any instructions. Now there's way too many instructions, you know. Before it was like, oh, the baby, don't leave it outside in winter. That was all they said to you. Don't feed it nails. They never said anything, but, you know. But now you have to go to these encounter groups with other parents, and it is annoying. It is so ridiculous. And, I, and I'm bored. I'm sitting there listening to these people's problems, and I don't care about their ugly babies. Their stupid, stupid, ugly babies. I don't care. My baby's the greatest. I don't need you to tell me what's wrong with your baby, but you have to do it. You have to listen to these people, couples, and you're all gathered around the circle and, you know, they have their problems. And the first uh, couple is like, oh, our baby uh, doesn't go to sleep right away, uh, so we have to soothe him. Uh, we take him out in the van and we drive him around and sometimes the vibration is soothing and he goes to sleep. But if he doesn't go to sleep, then uh, uh, we bring him home and I, um, I, my wife plays the tabla, a small Indian drum, a very tiny, and she plays that gently. And I put on a suit of tiny bells. It's kind of like a giant gown sewn with millions of tiny bells. And I waft around the room gently tingling, tingling, tingling until he falls asleep. Does anyone else have that? And everyone would say, oh, yeah, sure we do. And then the next couple is like, our baby uh, doesn't like uh, the rice cereal, uh, uh, so we give him the wheat cereal. Uh, if we give him rice cereal, he vomits. He, like, vomits it, so we give him wheat cereal. But uh, sometimes we try and, like, sneak some wheat cereal in with the rice cereal. Uh, and he still vomits, so we don't do that anymore. We just give him the wheat cereal, and he doesn't vomit. Does anybody else have that? And, uh, you know, everybody's like, yes. Oh, yes. And then it's my turn. And uh, so I've been listening to all this, and I got there, and I said, hmm, whatever. And I said, well, um, our baby uh, is hovering in the air. <laughs> just like that high off the ground, and he's chasing us around the house. Screaming in Latin. 
And sometimes he just vomits what I think is mercury into our faces. It's a silvery liquid in my face. Then uh, sometimes I wake up at night and he's gnawing on my throat with giant teeth. I don't know. Does anybody else have that? And uh, usually someone said yes. It's a, big, it's a big responsibility having a baby uh, because you want them to grow up right and you want them to be a good citizen, a good person. You want to treat them and teach them what to do. And so uh, I've written this song for my little baby boy and uh, I hope he'll take it to heart. Thank you. You're just a child, a tiny baby. It's a big old world out there. It'll drive a person crazy. But I'm your daddy. I'm going to take your hand. There's some things you've got to know as you grow up to be a man. Got to treat the pretty ladies right. Got to make them scream all night. Got to give them booze and bling and make them want to dangle off your dirty thing. Oh, baby, got to take it slow. Take the time to make the feeling grow. When you want into a lady's pants, better move with her, better do the dance. Take it, baby, from a man who knows. Your daddy, daddy, he knows the hose. I can make him take up all the clothes. I want to humpty hump, I want to self-expose. You're just a bitty baby now. But as you grow, I'm going to teach you how to make the ladies want to touch your love. But when you do the deed, you better wear a glove, because you Oh, just a little man child, but I'm telling you how to make the pictures go wild, make the move, ooh, 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 go ooh, 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 ooh. You are just a little man child, but I'm telling you how to make the pictures go wild, make the ooh, 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 go ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta get them the fancy wine, gotta get them feeling fine. Pretend you're listening to what they say, cause they think you're sensitive and that's okay. Tell the baby that you like her friends, a little baby when the music ends. She might let you take it far, have sex with you in the back of your car. Take it, baby, from a man who knows. Diddy daddy, he knows the hose. I can make him take up all the clothes. I wanna humpty hump, I wanna self expose. You're just a bitty baby now, but as you grow, I'm gonna teach you how. To make the ladies wanna touch your love, but when you do the deed, you better wear a glove, cause you. Oh, just a little man child, but I'm telling you how to make the bitches go wild, well, make them ooh, 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 go ooh, 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 ooh. You are oh, just a little man child, but I'm telling you how to make the bitches go wild, well, make them ooh, 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 go ooh, 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 ooh. And by the time you get out of that crib, you're gonna make a baby like your diggity daddy did. You are oh, just a little man child, but I'm telling you how to make the bitches go wild, well, make them ooh, 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 ooh. go ooh. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. Halifaxians.